The Soviet Union was aligned with the United States and the other Allied powers by World War II's conclusion. Tensions between the Soviet Union and its former allies became immediately evident after the common enemy defeat of Nazi Germany concluded World War II in Europe. The former allies in World War II were then tasked with a division of land that was formerly controlled by Nazi Germany and its allies. The allies divided up Germany. Americans, the British, and the French decided to govern parts of what became West Germany. The Soviet Union declared governance of what became East Germany. The German capital of Berlin was divided in half between the powers, even though it mostly resided in the East. The United States helped develop democratic and capitalist governments within Western Europe. The Soviet Union subsequently developed communist governments in Eastern Europe. The deepening division between the Soviet Union and its former allies created widespread fear and mutual suspicion throughout what became the Cold War. The race, development, and subsequent enhancement of the atomic bomb further contributed to the complicated widespread panic, fear, and doubt regarding the future, the safety, and the security of the Earth. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill sought to resolve what he determined to be a future direct conflict with the Soviet Union in 1945 with what was called Operation Unthinkable. Churchill's secret plan for the British to invade the Soviet Union was never approved nor executed. It had been resolved that without the approval or assistance of the United States in the invasion, it was doomed for failure. Churchill still aimed to continue to enhance what he referred to as a special relationship between Great Britain and the United States. Churchill was defeated in what was his re-election bid for Prime Minister of Great Britain in 1945. He traveled to the United States in March of 1946 to give a speech at Westminster College in Missouri. American President Truman accompanied and listened intently to Churchill's speech at the college. He praised the special relationship that English-speaking Great Britain and the United States shared in the same speech. He then described the United States as being the pinnacle of a world power. Churchill was among the first people to consider the Soviet Union enemies of its previous allies. Churchill's description of a non-physical boundary of an iron curtain symbolized what was becoming a deepening and more contrasting sense of beliefs held by the Soviets against its former allies. American President Truman and other government officials warmly received the speech. Truman and government officials had already taken notice of the Soviet Union's post-war land expansion. Mutually, both countries privately planned what would become a tougher stance toward the Soviet Union. Winston Churchill's Iron Curtain phrase immediately entered the Cold War vernacular after the conclusion of his famous speech.